This is Gonorrhoea National Park. How's it guys? I'm Gus, the African plant hunter. This is part one in my Into the Wild Zimbabwe series on Gonorrhoea. Gonorrhoea at 5,000 square kilometers is the second largest park in Zimbabwe. Situated in the southeast, it's part of a transfrontier conservation project between Zimbabwe, Mozambique and South Africa. It's probably best known, the name Gonorrhoea, meaning place of the elephants, probably best known for its elephant population. This park has over two elephants per square kilometer. So you are absolutely guaranteed if you visit to see at least one elephant. The park is divided into two sections. There's a northern section accessible from Chipinda Pools or from the Mahenya communal land, which is based around the Runde River and then the Save River. The Save Runde confluence in the northeast corner of the park is actually the lowest point in Zimbabwe at 160 meters above sea level. Most of the camps run in the north run along the Runde River. I'm actually standing in the middle of the Runde or in the edge of the Runde River right now. Behind me you can see the perhaps most iconic site uh, or landmark of Gonorrhoea Chilojo Cliffs. The southern part of the park is accessible either from outside or coming down through the park is based along the Mwenezi River and there are a series of camps there also incorporating the Malipati Safari area. The center part of the park is particularly wild and remote. There are several routes that go through it and there are some camps in there. If you really want to get away from it all, if you go to the center of park, you're pretty much guaranteed not to see anybody else. In terms of attractions, uh, obviously most people do come here primarily for the wildlife, the landscapes, the sense of isolation and remoteness. The mammal populations here are very healthy. Uh, part of the reason for that is that the park is under an innovative management arrangement in a partnership between the Frankfurt Zoological Society and Zim Parks called the Gonorrhoea Conservation Trust. The birding in Gonorrhoea is exceptional, particularly the Save Runde Confluence is one of the 20 top birding spots in the country. Also, just outside the southern end of the park, Manjinji Pan is another very, very exceptional birding location. From my personal point of view, I find the vegetation of this park absolutely fascinating. There are a lot of plants and trees, over 900 plant species in, in this park. Many of them only found in Zimbabwe here and some of them actually endemic particularly notable of course a lot of it is being low felt a lot of it is mapani woodland but you also get for example the tambuti tree well known to visitors to the kruger that's the tree by the way whose firewood you should not burn because it will make you sick uh, and another common feature of the landscape from a vegetation point of view is these huge baobab trees one notable feature of the baobab trees is they have, as the elephant population has risen due to effective management, the baobab trees have come under a little pressure and you'll often see around the base of the trees rocks or large old mapani logs to try to deter the elephants from savaging the trees, which they do with gusto. In terms of travel around the park, the park is entirely dirt roads. Uh, you can access it with a two-wheel drive vehicle, but you're very limited in the part, mostly in the north of the park, that you can go to. So really, if you want to travel in this park, ideally come in a 4x4. If you're going to take any of the off-road trails or, or uh, the more remote trails through the park, best you travel with two vehicles. In terms of accommodation, there's a full range of accommodation options in the park. There are, uh, at the top end, there are three camps called Manangas, which are uh, fully equipped with crockery, cutlery, bedding, etc. And all you need to bring is yourselves and some food. Uh, there are also some developed campsites in both the north and the south where there are ablutions blocks with hot showers running water uh, each campsite's got its own little thatched gazebo 
And then best of all, to my mind, there are a number of exclusive campsites uh, or wilderness campsites where there's really nothing at all. There's a, a long drop toilet, very nice, um, and a little bry stand or a fire pit, and that's it. So you bring everything. The nice thing about those exclusive campsites is they are, as the name suggests, exclusive. You won't have anyone else there while you're there. And you are very unlikely to see anyone else within the vicinity. The camps are all extremely well situated at a discreet distance from each other. And really a sense of wilderness and isolation is a big part of the Gonorrhageo experience. In terms of visitor numbers, uh, Gonorrhageo is becoming increasingly popular and well known, but there's still only a few thousand visitors a year. So guys, my earnest advice to you if you've never been to Gonorrhageo before is to check it out. And actually I've prepared a whole series of videos after this to give you a little bit more information uh, on the campsites, on getting around in the park, uh, things to do in the park. Uh, also an inside scoop on what the Menangas look like. So do check them out uh, and make sure you get to this park. It's going to become more and more popular, justifiably. It is a phenomenal, phenomenal wildlife reserve and it's guaranteed that the numbers here will grow. Although I have to say that the park authorities are managing visitors very effectively. So no matter how many people there are here at any one time, you're unlikely to be bumping into too many of them. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, there's plenty more. You can go and have a look on my Facebook channel, Into the Wild Zimbabwe, or my Facebook and YouTube channels, African Plant Hunter. And if you really like what I'm doing, uh, please support me for the price of a cup of coffee a month you can help me do what i love to do which is making informative educational videos like this the site to do that is patreon.com forward slash african plant hunter all right guys come here i'm standing here on my own but you're all welcome and i look forward to seeing you in gonorrhageo take it easy bye mm -hmm.